all been practicing for the big day. First up was the running race. On your marks, get set, go! Hair was straight off the mark. With her powerful hind legs, she shot off towards the finish line. Squirrel was close behind her. His legs weren't so powerful, he couldn't quite keep up. Behind Squirrel was Frog. Frog used his back legs to leap, but just could not catch Squirrel in hair. And poor Stickleback just flopped around a bit. She flipped her fin, but could only manage a short distance before she was tired and so very thirsty. Hair crossed the finish line with a huge applause. Next was the climbing challenge. The animals had to race to the top of the tree. On your marks, get set, go! This time it was Squirrel who took the early lead. He used his claws to grip onto the tree with his strong muscles in his four arms helped him climb so easily. Frog was having a good go. He leapt up the tree using his toes to cling on but he just couldn't catch Squirrel. Her used her powerful back legs to jump but couldn't hold on to the tree. But she kept trying and trying. As for Stickleback, she just flopped around again. She flipped her fin but couldn't quite climb the tree. She felt tired and thirsty. Squirrel reached the top of the tree in no time to great applause. Next was the high jump. On your marks, get set, go! One by one, the animals tried to jump over the bar. Squirrel went first and did a pretty good job, but couldn't get over the bar. Next up was Hare. She leapt up using her powerful legs, missing the bar by just a tiny distance. Then it was Frog's turn. He jumped, easily clearing the bar to loud applause. Finally it was Stickleback's turn. She flopped around again. She flipped her fin but could not jump very high at all. She soon felt tired and thirsty. Finally it was the swimming race. On your marks get set, go! They all dived into the pool. Stickleback swished her fin from side to side. Her streamlined body helped to dart through the water at incredible speed. Bob was behind Stickleback, kicking his powerful legs. He propelled himself through the water but he just couldn't catch Stickleback. Hair was behind Frog. She used her arms to crawl through the water, but it was slow going. And finally, Squirrel, just like Hair, was using doggy power, but couldn't catch up. Stickleback reached the end of the pool in no time to thunderous applause. And that was the end of Spot's Day. Each of the animals had shown they were the best suited for different races. Hair with her long, powerful limbs, large nostrils were suited for fast running. Claws for gripping, strong muscles in his forearms, and large tail for balance and speed for climbing. Frog, with his powerful hind legs, was well suited for jumping. And Stickleback, with her streamlined body, large back fin, and gills for breathing, was suited for swimming. Proud. Looking forward to next year's sports day.